I always thought maybe, like, these crates, they might, uh, be doing the music, like that clickety-clack noise. Anyway, hey guys, it's Chris Kringle here, and I'm back with more Spongebob for Battle for Bikini Bottom. Uh, last time we explored Spongebob's neighborhood, and, ugh, damn it, and we made it into Jellyfish Field, and we just have to get some, some jam from King Jellyfish to help s Sponge, or Squidward heal his wounds. Like, we're just that good of a neighbor. Good neighbors. Uh, this is goo. Sponge and Patrick can't swim, so don't let fall in the goo. Oh, this is like, it's not water, it's goo. So it technically makes sense. You know, it's not them drowning in uh, water, it's them drowning in goo. Okay, I guess it's like the equivalent of a tar pit or something, I don't know. And let's see here, there's more meat hooks there. I don't actually know if, that, if that's their name or not, but I'm just gonna call them meat hooks. Eh. I might just call them butchers, I don't know. I'm not sure if I get anything for those uh, combos, but whatever. This is gonna be some tight platforming. Okay. I'm so good. Alright. Eh. Alright, I'm so good at platforming, guys. I'm actually not, I think. Especially a 2D platforming. I feel like I suck at that. Like, it's just not a good one. Ooh, I do see. Oh, jeez. Box! Alright, so I have a teleporter there in case I die, which is actually pretty good. But I'm gonna get those shiny objects over there first. Eh. And I do see that there's stuff over there, but I think that's just, uh... Uh, the sponge bowl. Let's just go over bouncing on these trees. My dog's making noises. I don't approve of that. I wonder if, uh... Oh, there is! Oh, cool! Man, I got something cool for exploring! Who would have thought this would actually be a good game? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, let's see, what does this do? Okay, bring me back, alright. That's, uh, that's swell. Um, I guess I have to go back this way. Towards the... the thing. I'm just gonna do that, just to... make it easier. Um... The machine huffing puffing over the... Oh, okay, it's the 1000. The D-1000 will continue to create robots until it's destroyed. Be careful, though. It goes out with a big bang. I'm glad this game told me that instead of uh, being like the movie game where it didn't tell me that the thing would explode. So then it just would always, you know, do that. Alright, let's do that. And there we go. And bam. Bam! Easy peasy. Mm, just kissing the crowd. Alright. I need to stretch my back. Anyway, while I'm doing this, I think I might explain, uh, Jellyfish Caves, ooh. That actually might be pretty interesting. So let's, uh, enter the year, I guess. Uh, why not? I guess it's technically a new area. I'm not familiar with Jellyfish Caves. At least, like, that extensively. And I mean from the show, not, like, the, what's it called? Oh. What? <laughs> It's that sponge kid. Another, Another imposter. I'm supposed to tell you that Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself. Massage. How can you do anything? I think I better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? <laughs> I come, Patrick! Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, got a box. And. Hmm. But anyway, what I was gonna say. Uh, the audio issues I was having with Vice City, it's kind of a long story. It's both. My mic kind of just, I don't know, doing something, stuff weird. And also because I had to update my computer, and that also helped fix things. So I guess sometimes you just have to update. 
uh, luckily it actually was more beneficial than anything. It was, actually, it was definitely beneficial because, you know, my stuff was working pretty much uh, fine after I did that. Alright, let's do that. I guess I can go back and get more if I wanted to, but... Actually, I actually have no idea. Ooh, that's actually... Hang on. I'm gonna enter in here. The imagination box. Also, Mermaid Man looks kind of... Eh, his models... I'm not crazy about that. Also, he's another voice imposter, so that's great. Um, shiny objects, cool. Might as well get these since I somehow missed them. Uh, let's hop out here. Surfing on our tongue. This is hygiene. This is hygiene at its finest. All right. And oh wait, is that like a secret? Oh damn it. Oh, whatever. All right, let's. Uh, uh. Alright, that's a sock. Cool. I thought I was hoping it would be underwear or something. Another health upgrade would be nice. Nah, I'm doing pretty fine for now. Especially since in the movie game I didn't upgrade my health until like midway through. Oh man, more of these duplication machines. Man! Alright. Don't worry, SpongeBob's got this. I don't know why there's random like freaking machines in uh... Oh jeez. Meat hooks! Alright, I'm not sure why there's random machines and, uh, like, stuck in the ground for no reason, but whatever. Anyway, there we go. Let's hit that. So let's do that. This is like another gauntlet thing. I need to watch out for these meat hooks. Okay, I'm hearing, like, noises that sound all too familiar, but I'm not seeing that. What the heck are these sounds? Uh, I guess it's the robots. I was wondering, like, what was going on, but, yeah. But, like, these things, why are they in the ground? I don't remember those being a thing in the show, but, oh well. It's been a while. Well, it's been it's a, a while since I've watched a lot of... I've seen, actually, some episodes here and there, like, recently, because I felt like re-watching some stuff just to, you know, was in the mood and, you know, like, relive some childhood memories, because I loved this show so much when I was a kid. I'm not sure how much that, uh, like, or what's it called? Oh, jeez, stay away. Eh. But yeah, like, I talked about before in the movie game Let's Play, but, yeah, I love the show. Alright, I, I did one in, like, the first few seasons I really loved. Which I think is not an unpopular opinion at all. Okay, so yep. Uh, get to save Patrick now, and if I, if I'm assuming correctly, I think I know what this means. That now that the fact we've uh, we've done this. Hey, SpongeBob! Woo. Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the. Oh yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it Ooh. is. Ooh. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Okay, so we play as Patrick now. All right. So yeah, this is where we, I guess, introduce the searching characters thing. All right, that's cool. So now we get to experiment with Patrick a bit. Oh, okay. So they're already going to introduce this, it seems. Throw fruit can do this and all that stuff. I'm aware of this. Uh, all right. Oh, okay, so it's the X button now. Let's see. Okay, and it's still the, the X button. Can I do this to throw? Nope, it's still the X button. So I guess that's different. Um, can I get a fruit back, please? Thanks. Alright, let's... Uh, eh. Cool. Can I pick this up again? No. I wonder if I could, uh... Wait, is this... What's this, like... I want to see his animation when he's just lollygagging. Oh, I thought he was like doing a derp face. Oh well. He jumps. Can he do like a... Oh, he can't do a thing in the air. Oh, that's because he does like a... Oh, that's weird. Um, can he jump up here though? Alright, that's cool. Um, I'm gonna see if I can backtrack to where that ice thing was. Because then I could get like an extra thing. Which would be really useful. I don't think it'll take too long. Oh jeez, these guys are just mad reeds. They know where I'm going, that's for sure at least. Yeah. I don't know, I'm not such a fan of how... Well, I guess he moves roughly the same, but... 
I don't know. Yeah, Patrick is a little, uh, eh, with his, uh, his belly flop. Alright, let's return to the jellyfish fields to see if I can get that ice block thing. And luckily I have that, uh, that box so I can teleport back there. Such as now when I need it. It's pretty good. Um, I just need to figure out where it is again. Oh, it's over here. Never mind. That was easy enough. Oh, cool. Like the that's cool. The animation changes when uh, stuff's happening. Let's see now. Oh, it's over there. I, I still have to do some walking. Oh well. I guess that's not too far. SpongeBob cleared most of them. Well, not most of them, but did most of the stuff I needed to, for him to do. There is this though, so I wonder if that would be useful for anything. Let's see. Is this useful for anything? Can I like shoot up there and just like do stuff? Uh, I assume not. Oh well. What the heck? What? Oh, hang on. Can I still get this in camera? I mean, what the heck is that bouncing on? Uh, it just landed in midair. Oh well. What do these say? Tar tar. Okay, so I guess those are like. I don't remember that. Oh well. Let's pick this up and toss it. Alright, cool. Slippy slide. I was hoping that would be, you know, something better than a sock, but, you know, oh well. I'll eventually get something nice for these. Eventually. <laughs> Alright, so now I need to make my way back up to where the other thing was. So, ow. Uh, so I can teleport up. Which I think I might just, like, meet you guys back when I actually get back to where I was. So I'll be back in a sec. As a side note, I do like the little sound effects each character has when they uh, do, like some uh, special things. That was weird. I got hurt and then gained uh, uh, underpants at uh, the same time. That was a little odd. But yeah, I do like these like these sound effects that Patrick makes when he jumps. I don't remember that being really a thing in the show, but uh, I mean, it's a nice little like, you know, add some cartoony flair to it. It's just all around a fun little thing. Patrick can also pick up and throw tiki's, but only tiki's that don't have another tiki stacked on them. Okay. Eh. Cool. What are you doing? Nothing. This is a bus stop. You may switch between SpongeBob and play by going at a bus stop. Okay, I didn't know that actually before uh, doing it. Patrick can throw fruit up steps, but then climb up steps. So we're gonna hurry. Better it wilts. Oh, okay. That's the expl explanation why it uh, what's it called? Why it explodes. Um, I don't really need to switch right now because I need Patrick for this, but it might be useful for, uh, later. Eh. What the heck? Why didn't it lock on? It was locked on before. I expect it to always be consistent with this stuff. Uh, let's see. Great. I need to make sure I don't, like, puck it too far. Eh. Oh, god damn it. Alright. I wonder if I should press it lightly or just... Eh. That worked. Come on, pick it up. All right, let's. Eh. Got it. And this is a special Patrick teeter totter that only Patrick can use. Pat starfish. Side, then throw the fruit. Oh, okay. So it's like I do this and that. That's pretty cool. Eh. Eh. Yeah, I'm not I'm not such a big fan of the uh that attack. The thunder tiki, when Patrick touches it, it'll begin to storm and after a few seconds we'll go boom. Don't go near when it goes boom. Okay. Let's try this. Eh That got a lot of oh jeez. I thought I forgot what was freaking jump again. Patrick can pick up Thunder Tiki just to let others be Faster. Okay. Eh. What? Why did it do that? I didn't want to go that way. Whatever. I'm gonna. I want to check back over here again because I didn't check everything yet. Um. What are those rock formations? Those are weird looking. Well, I guess those are the caves. So this still kind of looks like a jellyfish field type of place, except it's. Talking to me. <laughs> oh, mighty rock, I am at your command. Down here, 
Are you being pink, Lomax? Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday. And now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop making low quality design and knock off wallets. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, the wallet reference. I or I'm not sure if that wasn't intentionally a reference, but you know, if you jump in the mirror and press X, okay, so they both have a a butt stomp. Well he's is like a a belly flop pretty much. And now we can head in here. Jellyfish caves. This seems like a dangerous place. But yeah, I don't know if that was- that might have been a reference to that, the one episode where like, it's kind of become a meme now where it's like, you know, like, it's Patrick and, uh, Man Ray, and he, he's like, it's- he's like, I do believe you've dropped your wallet. It's not my wallet. What the heck? Eh. Why is that- okay, whatever. Remember, Patrick could throw fruit but then pick it up before it throws it- okay. You don't have to keep telling me that. Eh. Ow. Ow, what am I supposed to do? That seems like a very weird, uh, pattern. And of course there's no underwear. I mean, there's no lives, but, you know. I still lack making it through relatively unscathed. Not unscathed, but, like, easily. Which is like the opposite of, uh, frickin' Vice City. Okay, so I have an opening here. Alright, cool. See what happens when I actually, uh, you know, wait. I could use SpongeBob for that, but oh well. I need Patrick for all of these, pretty much, so... I assume I need to do something with that. I mean, I could... Hang on. Eh. Got it. Okay, let's see now. Eh. Damn it. Whatever. Hopefully I don't need it, because otherwise that would kind of blow. Alright, got him. Alright, this is more spike nonsense. See if I can. This is really weird. Oh, okay, so I can aim for the thunder one, maybe. Come on, aim for the thunder one. That's not aiming for the thunder one, Patrick. The thunder crate. Come on, use. Come on. The lid. The lid. The lid. 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 lid, lid. Stop. They don't even use all the holes. That's what she said. Oh, okay. Uh, whatever. That was really goddamn weird. Uh, can I like just kind of plop this down? Cool. Yeah, definitely. I don't know why they had the option of switch between SpongeBob other than like that other thing. Um, let's see now. I need to throw it up there, which is. Eh. Can I, like, do that? No. Alright. Can I, like, stand on this? There we go. That works. Yeah. Okay, I might need, uh, assistance. Nope. I need to, like, like that. There we go. That works. That's actually kind of cool. I don't remember if there's anything in the... Uh, the movie game that did that, but that was pretty cool. I mean, so far I'm liking uh, how this kind of rolls. 
like this game. I'm liking it really so far, so, you know. Also, hmm, I should probably try and get those socks, but... Ugh! Alright. Fireworks! Alright. Let's get these over here again. Come on. But yeah, he said Patrick gave me one golden spatula for ten socks. Okay, so here's Patrick sliding. Oh man. Oh jeez. Ugh. Ugh. I'm sounding like Patrick for a minute. Oh shit, I shouldn't I should avoid those. Alright, that worked. Kind of. Uh jeez, these what are these kids doing here? Goddamn shouldn't be in a cave. Alright, let's let's do that box. Just so I have a way back. Freezy fruit, I already know how this works, because I did it before to get a secret. And there's sock over here, so I'm getting that. Eh. Yeah, I'm not sure what these kids are doing down here, but oh well. Badger belly flops near robots, you can stun them. Okay, yeah, so it's like the shockwave thing kind of in uh um Oh whoops. Like that. There we go. Eh, let's do that. You can also use fruit to destroy anyways. It's still giving me tutorial stuff. Wow. LOL. I know what I'm doing. I don't need no goddamn help. Patrick may even be able to pick up robots. Okay, so like, it's kind of like when the shockwave... Eh. Pick up that guy. Throw him in there. Alright. Yeah, diplomatic. Ow! Oh, don't tell me I have to do that again. Checkpoint. Oh, whatever. I guess it's not the worst thing ever, but that was kind of lame. I had nowhere to go to avoid that explosion. And it was more of an explosion than I thought it was going to be. We're going to do that. Ow. I'm just going to rush through this. There we go. Let's get that. And whoops. There we go. Oh, wait. That didn't... Why did it not uh, do it? It was I was locked on. That was weird. Hmm. Maybe I just didn't see properly. I mean, it's quite possible, but... Oh, wait, whoops. I should probably destroy this. Eh. I keep forgetting what my attacks are. Lol. Alright. Ow. Alright. Okay, let's see now. Oh, wait. Wrong button. There we go. Ow. Okay. Alright. Everything seems to be with X, at least with Patrick. Alright, let's do that. And I'm gonna get the gold spatch left first. There we go. So that I can just run after I destroy this Duplomatic Atron. Dupla Katatron. I forget how he said it. Oh well. Ugh. Alright, cool. Okay. Alright, he almost had the read on me. Alright, time to go back to Jellyfish Lake. Or go to Jellyfish Lake. We're finally done with those caves. Ahoy there! Squidward tells me you're looking for the King Jellyfish. I am indeed. Why does why does Mr. Krabs look constantly high? Like Like he has like he's doing like the, you know, the that that finger pose, I don't know yes. what it's called actually. Good thing too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do indeed. Alright, but I think I'm gonna save that till next time. So yeah, next time we made it through all the caves and the rest of the fields. And now we just got the Jellyfish Lake to go through, and next time we're going to get on top to fight King Jellyfish. See you guys 
then 